so returns 100 rupees beginning end of the year 90 so there is minus 10 percent 195 minus 5 100 100 0 this is 10 this is 50 these are the returns which are not given in the problem we have calculated the return by comparing the beginning price with the end price now probabilities are given in the problem the probabilities are 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.4 0 0.2 0 0.1 now we multiply to find out the expected my, uh, minus 10 into 0 0.1 is minus 1 minus 5 into 0 0.2 is minus 1 0 into 0.4 0 10 into 0 0.2 is 2 then 15 into 0 0.1 is 1.50 the total is 1.5 the expected return we got 1.5 1.5 is the expected return now minus minus 10 minus 1.5 minus 11.5 Minus 5 minus 1.5 minus 6.5 0 minus 1.5 minus 1.5 10 minus 1.5 8.5 15 minus 1.5 13.5 So minus 11.5 minus 6.5 minus 1.5 8.5 30 Squaring kardenge to 132.25 Then 42.25 2.25 72.25 and 182.25 then pd square 13.225 8 0.9 14.45 18.225 the total is 55.25 that's it now we can easily find out. The first thing is asking you expected return. Is equal to 1.5%. Standard deviation. Sigma is equal to summation PD square under root. 55.25 under root. So 55.25 under root is 7.433. We got expected and we got standard deviation. Now we can calculate coefficient of variation. First time it is asking you to calculate coefficient of variation. CV. Up CV ka formula hai. CV is equal to standard deviation by expected return into 100. So standard deviation is 7.433 divided by 1.5 into 100. Standard deviation divided by expected return into 100. 7.433 divided by 1.5 into 100. You will get 495. Four ninety five point five three. This is the coefficient of variation CV. First time we are applying the formula. So, simply, formula is standard deviation divided by expected run into 100. That's it. So, this is the end of problem number 15.